I uh, just want to say, I don't know what I want to say. All I do know is that what Dan just alluded to might make sense. Believe it or not. Uh, I just, one thing about Albany, I can't stand Albany. I'm not too happy with the governor. A lot of people up here aren't happy with him at all. That's why he hasn't campaigned for, for Arbertine, ironically enough. That should have been let, that should have been known. Also, uh, we've had a, a Republican state senator representing this area forever and ever. So, you know, is your life any better with or without a state senator? I don't even know. Change might be good. But the bottom line is, I can't stand Silver and Bruno fighting over the same things over and over again. So this might, I don't know, even the playing field, it might just make things a lot easier for one of those guys. Obviously, that would be Silver. But all I can say is, is that tomorrow is going to be a lousy day in terms of weather. So I hope that you can go out there and... And whomever you're voting for, I just hope that you can get out early and make a difference. They spent a lot of money to get you guys to go vote. Tomorrow, you really, really should do it. I, whether or not you did it in the primaries or, for that matter, the general elections, tomorrow is the day because this is our Iowa. This is our primary. And this is the only time, at least since I've been here, in the 20 years I've been here, where northern New York actually makes a difference to the entire state in a political election. So you don't need to hear anything more from me. You're not going to hear me until Wednesday, but you have a good day tomorrow. And get around that bad weather and ex uh, just uh, exercise your right. AM 1240 WA10 Watertown. From ABC News, I'm Brad Wheelis.